Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Brandon and I am on the Invitables team. And we wanna give you a under the hood style look at the X-Carve Pro. So we're gonna get into some of the details and some of the features and why we think this is really gonna help you grow your business. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So first off, let's talk about probably the most obvious and that is just the sheer size of this thing. If I pull this way back, you can see my dirty shop in the background, but this is actually the four foot by four foot unit. The other is the four by two foot. For the four by four machine, you're looking at 65 and a quarter by about 55 and a quarter. And then you'll need a little bit extra room for the HMI or the human machine interface. And the HMI is also where you're gonna hook up your Z probe. So you wanna have something big enough that can kind of fit all of those in one spot. In my case, this is just sitting on a welded table that is just big enough where I can get this whole unit on because my shop isn't super big. But probably in your situation, you may be working with something a little bit different. So in terms of weight, the four x four unit comes in at just at 300 pounds and actually the Gantt uh, this whole part right here comes pre-assembled as one big unit and you'll definitely need a couple people to be able to pick it up and put it on the frame. Now what's great about the size and why in the x-axis it is always four feet whether you have the four by four or the four by two is if you are getting a sheet of plywood, which is normally four feet in the United States, then you can put that directly onto the machine. And the new tiling feature, which is inside of easel, means that you can actually use an entire sheet of plywood, put it directly on the machine and carve out your part. So that's gonna make it a lot faster for your setups. You're not having to rip down sheet goods before you actually get it onto your machine and start getting your finished pieces. So in terms of the Z axis up and down, you've got four inches. What's great about that is you can really carve out some pretty thick material. If you have our standard X-Carve, you know that is one of the limiting factors. You can't get something super thick in there, but really your main limiting factor uh, will just be the length of your bit and so how far down you can cut with that bit. But you can definitely get a lot thicker material onto this machine. So now let's talk about the actual gantry. And what's great about this is this was built from ground up with feedback from our customers. So the gantry itself is made of powder coated aluminum and is actually a C shape. And what's great about that is all of the ball screws are actually inside of this unit. So there's nothing exposed on the outside to help keep the dust down from getting on the screws and having to clean those up as you go. And so it's kind of hard to see, but I mean, these things are, are big. They're 25 millimeters ball screws. And then you have these two linear rails that this entire thing moves across. I know it's probably hard to tell because you actually have the shadow, but compared to my finger, um, these things are good size. Now the whole goal of these massive ball screws, these linear rails, all this massive aluminum is to keep this thing as rigid as possible. So this is great for V carving. If you're starting to do stuff with aluminum or metal, um, you're not gonna have much deflection because the gantry is so rigid as well as the rest of the unit. So the Y axis supports are also aluminum extrusion and the actual ball screw is up underneath it. So once you get this thing assembled, um, you're really not gonna be able to get to those ball screws, which is great because the dust and the debris also can't get to those ball screws. Now there's also linear guides as well, but these are actually on the outside versus being on the flip side to where all of the dust and the debris is going to build up. And it makes it a lot easier when you actually assemble this entire gantry and you put this onto the whole work bed, it makes it a lot easier to get into the points where they attack. And speaking of the gantry, they're on these die cast risers. And what's cool about this design is it balances the actual gantry with the whole spindle assembly. So uh, your kind of center of gravity is resting right where it attaches to your entire work bed. And so that helps make this even more stable. Now let's talk about assembly. If you are coming from the normal X-Carve, you know that comes as a kit and assembly is a big part of the process. Now for the X-Carve Pro, the assembly is gonna take you about two hours and you're gonna need a couple people mainly to be able to move the big gantry into place. But you're really gonna be able to take this from package to first carve in about two hours. So let's actually talk about the main thing that is attached to the gantry, and that is the spindle. So this is a two horsepower, 1.5 kilowatt VFD. It is pre-programmed and it is controlled directly through easel. So if you've used the x -Carp before, you know that you have either DeWalt router or the Makita router, and to actually change the RPMs on the spindle, you had to like adjust that dial that's actually on the spindle itself. What's great about this is you do all of that within easel, and what that really means is you can dial in your feeds and speeds specifically for your materials and your bits, really the optimal speeds to get the best finish as well as quick as possible. 
Um, this has an RPM range of 8,000 to 24,000. So the big thing with the routers on the X-Carve is you really can't get the RPMs low enough to be able to get the feeds and speeds really dialed in. So this one being able to go all the way down to 8,000 is great for that. Another nice thing about the ER16 spindle is you can get bits that have a shank all the way up to 3 8 of an inch. So that is the actual piece that goes into the collet of the bit. So I use bits that have a quarter inch shank a good bit. Uh, they're great because they're a lot stronger than the eighth inch ones that normally come with our standard X carve. So this has NEMA 23 stepper motors. And when you combine that with the 25 millimeter ball screws, uh, the linear rails on all the axis, then the rapid feed rate for this guy is 300 inches per minute. Uh, and that's going to be if it's not carving anything. But then when you actually get into carving, your feed rate is going to be dependent on your depth of cut, the type of bit that you're using, and your material. But what's great about having a rapid feed right that fast as well as machine this rigid is that your real limiting factor for speed, either your bit's gonna break or uh, the cut in your material is just not gonna give you the finish that you want. Now with this guy carving so much, you're gonna be making lots of dust. And we have this custom dust shoe that has come out of us talking with lots of our customers using our X-Carve. And we wanted to make this really easy to take in and take out and then easy to adjust. So there's just a knob on the side where you can raise it up and down. And then there's just a lever where this whole thing will just pop out and then you can make your tool changes. And then the hose is just on this overhead arm with some clips. You can pop it in and then get it back into place. And then you just drop it up or down depending on what material that you're using. You can connect it to a standard shop vac, or if you have a dedicated dust collection system, then you can actually step up the diameter on this guy and connect it right into whatever system you've got in your shop. So this comes with homing switches on all axis, and there's actually an additional homing switch on the Y axis, which lets you square this machine to the work bed. So that's something that's extra than the standard x carve So the brains of this guy is actually in what looks like kind of like a computer case uh, that you can store underneath the machine. But then to interface with the actual X-Carve itself, you have the HMI, which stands for Human Machine Interface. And you've got a few control buttons on the front. Mine's a pre-production unit that doesn't have it printed on there, but you can um, start, pause, and restart a cut. And then you also have your emergency stop button right here at the top. And then in the front, you have a couple different connection points. Um, one is a USB-C, and this is actually what you'll use to connect to your computer to run Easel. And then you have a jack where you can hook in your Z probe. Uh, and then connect the little clip to the spindle so you can zero out your Z axis. So the entire system runs off of your standard 120 volt power. So this is just hooked up to a standard outlet in my shop and you are good to go. So you might be looking at this waste board and see a big sheet of MDF. And if you guys have worked with MDF in the past, you know that that can sag and droop over time. Now, if we actually remove the waste board, you actually can see we have lots of supports underneath the work bed. So whether you have a big four x four machine or a four x two machine, you know that your waste board can always be level because we've got the supports underneath it. And then the entire machine sits on six leveling feet. Now, since these can be individually adjusted, you can really dial this into your work table or if your shop is kind of like mine and the floors are a little bit slanted, you can really kind of dial this into whatever situation that you've got. All right, so now let's actually talk about the waste board. Now, mine is actually a pre-production unit, so yours is gonna look a little bit different. Uh, this is kind of the normal waste board that you might see on our standard X-Carve with all of the threaded inserts to where you can drop in our screws and our clamps right into those spots. But you will actually be getting a version of this that also has T-slots. What's great about that is you can slide in those toggle-style clamps and you can get your work pieces clamped down really, really quick versus just having the threaded insert. So yours will have those T-slot rails with the threaded insert MDF pieces in the middle. The last part that you're actually going to need to be able to carve something are bits. And so every X-Carve actually comes with three bits just to get you going. You've got an upcut bit, a planing bit, and you actually use this in the setup to get your work bed flat and square, as well as a V-Carve bit. But as always, since we're using a standard collet and a standard spindle setup, you can buy custom bits for whatever you need to use them for. Now for the X-Carve Pro, the assembly is gonna take you about two hours and you're gonna need a couple people, mainly to be able to move the big gantry into place. But you're really gonna be able to take this from package to first carve in about two hours. So in all these shots while the X-Carve Pro is carving, I've actually taken the dust collection system off and that is just so you can actually see it carving and just looks cooler when you see the wood chips flying all over the place.